Originally, I drew a six-membered ring as being flat like that, with that angle as 120 degrees. In fact, a six-membered ring is not flat. It adopts a chair conformation. This is a chair. <laughs> OK. The reason it's a chair is because this molecule, this part here, is supposed to be the back of the chair. This is the little bit you sit on, and this is the little bit you rest your legs on, OK? So can you guys see how that could be, that could kind of look like this chair over here? <laughs> Maybe on a good day with a following wind. OK, so here's a little animation which shows you what happens as you rotate the front atom round and round and round, and the little ball goes up and down the curve. You guys like this stuff. <laughs> you understand it, right? Um, I love this stuff. I think it's brilliant. Uh, I would say maybe a third of you, maybe a quarter of you, forgot to rotate the hydrogen away from you in one of the questions, right? And so, so there are four possible groups, and you have to rotate the lowest priority group away from you. Right, so here's our phenoxide ion. So we're looking at how this is stabilised through resonance. Okay, so we can draw a pair of curly arrows, one going down there. Now we can't just leave that structure as this, because, the, because that represents us forming a new carbon-oxygen double bond, right? Now, this carbon here already has eight valence electrons, so we can't just draw a structure with a double bond there. We have to remove one of the pairs of electrons that's in another bond to that carbon atom. So we can represent that by a second curly arrow. Let's just start that from the double bond, move into there. 